Hello and welcome. This is Michelle Christensen of One Noteworthy Life, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to move your notes around in OneNote. I'm filming in OneNote for Windows 10, so if your screen looks a little bit different than mine, it might be because you're using a different version of OneNote or a different device. Now, as you'll see throughout this video, that most of the time when there's an option to move something, there's also an option to copy it. Rather than continue to repeat, move, or copy, we're just going to talk about moving notes, and you can also use many of these tips to copy notes as well. So first, let's talk about why you might want to move your notes around. One of the advantages of using OneNote over paper is the ability to move your notes around. There might actually be an upper limit to how much you can move your notes, but as a daily one user, I've never found any limit, and I've moved notes just about every day. So you could move notes around because you want to archive them and get them where they get them out of where they are now and into an archive. An example of this for me would be when I use a section of my bullet journal to plan a trip. Once that trip has happened, I can move that section to an archive notebook for the calendar year. Uh, you could also move your notes if you want to revise them. So, for example, if you're working on a home improvement project and your current vision has changed from prior versions, you can move the old ideas either on your page or on your page list or to a different section altogether. You could also move notes just because it makes more sense to group them with something else. An example might be if you start collecting recipes and you find that you have a lot, you might want to move them into their own notebook or their own section within a notebook you already use. So you can move, let's talk about what you can move. Well, you could move part of a page, a subpage, a page, a page with its subpages, a section or a section group. So in other words, you can move a very small part of data, um, that would be just a sentence on a page, on up to the biggest single piece of information you can have in a notebook, which is a section group. If you aren't familiar with how OneNote is organized, on this page I have a simple kind of diagram of how the hierarchy uh, works within OneNote. At the very top of the page you have your account, and then within your account you have notebooks, and you can have many. Within your notebooks you have sections, and then sections have pages. There are also two additional levels of organization, which are section groups and subpages, and I will show you how moving these works later on in this video. Um, and in this video, we'll be working from moving the smallest piece of data, which is just a section of a page, to the largest piece of data, which is a section group. So let's start with moving just a tiny part of a page. Uh, so on this page, you can see that I have a few sentences and then a little uh, sticker. So we're going to move um, just part of a page. And this is going to look familiar to you because we're going to use a copy paste or cut and paste command that's found in a lot of software. You can move text, images, documents, and any other element that you've added to a page. So I'm going to show you how if you want to move just one sentence. So let's pick this uh, top sentence. So I'm going to use my mouse to highlight it. And then I'm going to right click and we can say cut or copy. But I'm going, I'm going to cop, I'm going to cut it because we're moving, and I'm going to paste it here. I've gone, I've gone to a new section within this notebook. Now I'm going to go back to that page where it just was, and you can see that it's gone. Now you might notice that when I hover next to a sentence, this little flag appears uh, just outside my text container. So right now I'm on the uh, second sentence on the page that begins with if you want and there's a little flag next to it and when I hover over that that my mouse turns into a cross that paints points up down and left right um, I can click on that to highlight that whole sentence or I can right click on the flag to get back into this menu where again I could use the uh, copy and paste command um, anytime you see this flag, you can also do that. Um, so sometimes the flag might uh, help you to get to a whole paragraph or something bigger than a, just a sentence. Now, if you're moving just part of a page, you can use the lasso function to lasso together two or more elements on a page and move them all at once. If you're not familiar with the lasso function, there's a video link in the description on that. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to um, use the lasso function. So under the draw menu up here at the top of the screen, we have this um, lasso function. And what it does is, if I click that, it's going to allow me to draw this lasso 
and I'm going to pick that one sentence and the star. And those are now lassoed together, and so I could cut them, move them, drag them, resize them. It lets you act on those as if they're just one element, even though you're moving two things at a time. So uh, that's another way to move just part of a page. So now we've talked about how to move part of a page. Now let's talk about how to move an entire page. Um, and we'll talk about subpages in the next section. So you can move a page within the same section uh, by simply dragging it, holding down your mouse and dragging it up and down. So I can move it down, move it back up. But you can also move your page to a different section in the same notebook or into a different notebook altogether. So if you want to move this page to a different section, whether it's in the same notebook or a different notebook, you're going to hover over it and then right click. And we have about mm, a third of the way down, we have this move or copy command. And you can see that the icon next to it looks kind of like a page, and that'll be important later when we get into moving sections and section groups. I'm going to click on that. And it's asking me where I want to move or copy my page to. So we're in my demo notebook. Uh, if I wanted to pick a different notebook, I would um, select this, and it would give me a list of my notebooks. But I'm going to stay within this same notebook and I'm going to put it just in the adjacent section, which is called Collapsible Lists. And I'm going to go ahead and click Move. Um, so now the page that we were just on, which was titled Move a Page, is gone. And if we go into Collapsible Lists, you can see that it's here. You want to make sure that your destination notebook, that is where you're copying the page to, is open. You can only move a page to a new notebook if that notebook is currently open. And if you're not sure how to open or close notebooks or why you might want to, you can check out the archiving video that's linked in the description uh, below this video, and that'll tell you more about the difference between closing a notebook and, and opening it and deleting it and that kind of thing. So now we've talked about moving a page, but what if that page has a subpage under it? What you'll see next is that we have an option to move the subpages along with the page, as well as um, just moving the page or the subpage. So this page that I'm on right now, it's called Subpages Demo. It has these three subpages under it. And if you aren't familiar with subpages, they kind of um, are just a kind of a, a child page, if you will, of the uh, parent page. And the thing I like about this is that you can toggle off and on whether you see them. So let's, if I toggle that off, the arrow points to the right, and I don't see my subpages. And if I toggle it back on, now I can see them. Um, so I want to go through moving this first subpage into a different section just so we can, you know, show what happens. So I'm going to hover over it. I'm going to right click, select move or copy, and, and I'm going to move it to collapsible lists, which is a different section than the one we're in. Now you can see subpage one is there. The thing to point out though is that it is no longer a subpage. You can see by looking at this list, it's a sibling page along with all the other pages in this section. So you can go ahead and move it. That's just the one thing I want to point out, though, is that it's no longer a subpage once you move it. So I'm going to go back to our uh, original section here. And now we're going to see what happens when we try to move the page that has subpages. So I'm going to um, hover over the parent page, which is called Subpages Demo. And I'm going to, again, click Move or Copy. And it presents me with this option. This page has subpages, and do you want to apply this action to its subpages? Let's select No this time. And I'm going to move that parent page into a different section called Collapsible Lists. And we can see that um, it this, these subpages are now subpages of a different page. And go to the going to our Collapsible Lists section. The subpages is now a parent page or with no subpages under it. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that so we can get back to uh, what we were doing before. So now we're going to see what happens when we move the subpages demo and take the subpages along with us. So I'm going to click on the page name and I'm going to right click, move or copy. 
and I'm presented with the same option again. Do you want to apply this actions to the subpages? And I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to move it to that adjacent section, collapsible lists. And when we go over here, you can see that the parent subpage, the parent of the subpages, as well as the two subpages, are here and they their structure stayed intact. So yeah, you really have some options there where you can move just a subpage, you can move the parent, or you can move the uh, subpages along with the parent. So now we're going to move to the next level of organization, which is a section, and I'll show you how sections can be moved. As with pages, you can drag your sections up and down if you're staying within the same notebook. So let me just show you that real quick. Um, I'm going to take this collapsible lists section and move it down. And then we can just drag it back up by holding down the mouse button. If you want to move your section into a different notebook, you follow a process that's very similar to when we moved a page to a different notebook. So I'm going to go down here to this very bottom uh, section here. And I'm going to cl uh, right click on, on the section name. And again, about a third of the way down, we have a move or copy command. But you can see the icon this time looks a little bit different than when we were moving or copying the page. And that's because we're moving a section. I'm going to select move or copy the section. And it's asking me where you want to put it. I'm going to move that to my 2019 demo notebook. And these are my open notebooks. Um, I do have more, but I close them for this purpose. So you do need to make sure that notebook that you're moving the section to is open. Now if we switch um, into that 2019 demo notebook, that section we just moved is here now. I go back to my main demo notebook. And the last thing we like to cover in this video is how to move a section group. Um, I do want to show you how to create a section group because this option is much more visible in the older version of OneNote for PC, which is called OneNote 2016. I had to actually kind of search around to find it in this version, which is OneNote for Windows 10. So I wanted to show you how to create the section group really quickly just to make this more valuable. So if you, if you have white space in your section group, which I don't really have because it's full, you could right click in there and you'd get an option to create a section group. Um, but you can also click right here where it says add section. I'm going to right click that and I'm going to create a new section group. So I'm going to just call this demo three. So now I have an empty section group and I'm going to drag a couple of videos down into it. And the same thing we saw when we were looking at pages and subpages, we see with a section group, meaning you can toggle the view off or on. So now we don't see those three sections, and now we do. Uh, this could be really useful if you have a really extensive notebook with a lot of different sections, and you want to just be able to see the um, names of the section groups. You only have a limited amount of space on your screen here, so by grouping them, you can see the um, section group names, even if you can't see all of your section names. So this will probably seem familiar by this point. I'm going to uh, right, hover over this and right click. And I'm going to click Move. And I'm going to move this into my 2019 demo. And it took um, you know a minute to do that, but you can see the section group is gone. All of those sections are gone. And if we switch over, the section group called Demo 3 and the three sections are all right here. They came over exactly how we set them up. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you for today. That is how to move notes around. Um, I had done a video on organizing your notes, and several people asked me about how you actually move things around. So I wanted to um, show you that today. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any tips to add to this, please let me know in the comments so that everyone can see it and we can help each other out. If you like this, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, and I would love it if you'd subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye!